Hey, thanks so much for finding the video. Do us a favor. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe. Be sure to leave your comment. We love to interact. Enjoy the video. So the Saints made a pair of roster moves. Uh, they have re-signed defensive back Eric Burrell, who uh, they had waived after he failed a physical last week. Uh, he played his college ball at Wisconsin. Played in 36 games during his time there in Madison. Uh, and the other move is that they've placed offensive lineman Alex Hoffman on the reserve retired list. Talked about Alex Hoffman on Tuesday. He's the guy who went undrafted out of Campbell. Isn't that right? Something with a C. I uh, don't think it was Colgate. I'm pretty sure it was Campbell College. Anyway. No, no. Carroll College. It was Carroll College. So, the, came to rookie minicamp. Spent this past weekend at rookie minicamp. Found out he got accepted into St. Louis University Medical School and said, hey, NFL, deuces, I'm going to go be a doctor. Good on you. Great to have options and all that stuff. So they had a roster spot, and they used it to bring Eric Burrell back, which is interesting because you had an offensive lineman retire. Conventional wisdom would have been to replace that guy with another offensive lineman because you need that depth. When I look at the Saints' offensive line, though, they got Will Clapp listed as a center, McCoy and Ruiz as center guard, Andrews Pete at guard tackle. They've got Christian Montano. They got Brown, Greenidge, Kelly, and Thro uh, Throckmorton uh, listed as swing offensive linemen. Hurst and Murphy as tackles, and then uh, Armstead and Ramchick as your starting tackles. Uh, when I, I mean, that's even with Hoffman retiring. That's let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's thirteen offensive linemen. You know you're going to have your five starters. Very likely, Will Clapp and Alex Hurst, one in, as an interior guy, one as a tackle. And you're probably going to have one more. Typically, you're going to keep eight offensive linemen on your active roster. So you've got your five starters, Clapp, Hurst. You've really got room for one more. So five guys presently on that list aren't going to make the 53-man roster. It's not to say you wouldn't necessarily have a spot on your practice squad, as we've seen, you know, Cameron Tom was a practice squad guy. Greenidge has been there. He's also made the active roster. So we'll see how all that goes. But I guess they're good as far as depth. Where they will certainly need people to emerge is in the secondaries we've talked about. You got a new secondaries coach with Chris Richard. You know, like when I look at the cornerbacks, Lattimore, Crawley, P. Rob, Grant Haley, Bryce Thompson, and Lawrence Woods. Safeties are Marcus Williams, C.J. Garner-Johnson, Malcolm Jenkins, and then Eric Burrell, who they just signed, and then listed as DBs, guys that could play multiple positions. P.J., J.T. Gray, Keith Washington, and Deuce Wallace. I'll tell you this, Bur Burrell, I, I went and checked Mike Dettelier's M&D draft report, and he had Burrell ranked 24th uh, among safeties in this year's draft. And Mike says he's got good cover, cover skills, but likely a special teams guy. What the Saints obviously need is still help at, at cornerback. Um, the guy that I'm going to be really interested in is, is Bryce Thompson. Bryce Thompson out of Tennessee. And remember last year, the guy I told you who I was really interested in was another guy out of Tennessee, and that was Marquez Callaway. Because I knew he had blow the top off, game-breaking speed, and big playability, but we saw him at, at Tennessee. Bryce Thompson was a guy who was a four-star, went to Tennessee, became a three-year starter, entered the NFL draft after his junior year this season, went undrafted and the Saints signed him. But Bryce Thompson's one of those guys that played a ton of football at a high level at Tennessee. And if you're looking for the guy who might be the one-off, who has a chance to make the roster and be a longtime contributor among these guys, I would tell you Bryce Thompson would probably be that guy. So we'll get those answers whenever the Saints uh, fire up training camp uh, this summer. But in the meantime, OTA is going on. Until then, they'll get to some mandatory workouts as well this offseason. And then, of course, in July, it'll be time for training camp to start to pare down that roster before the preseason and the start of the 2021 football season. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.